guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, so listen. I just did a reading. It was great, okay? Um, it was touching. So, I don't know, for some reason, I wanted to break out my runes, okay? So, to kind of explain, I will tell you, when I shut my eyes and I was holding, holding my runes, okay? The first thing that came to my mind is one of my favorite childhood movies, like the old school Haley Mills. It's um, The Parent Trap. And it's, you know, the first thing, I mean, that's what came to my mind. But what actually came to my mind was within that, it's, it's one of the songs is let's get together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So that was, that's what came to my mind is that particular that particular song okay um so i pulled three runes because i noticed um when i stopped it it was three three two so i was just i don't know i was just pulled to do this okay and the reason why i pulled them on my own is because i'm just starting to learn my runes and my runes and I wanted to go in and, and look at it. All right. So you pulled 12, which is harvest. Okay. I don't know the exact name. I'm, I'm getting there. Um, and then you pulled 14, which is all about, you know, adventure. And then you pulled 24. So what I want to do is just kind of see what I'm seeing and explain, explain it to you. Okay. Um, the, the harvest is, it's like the world cat It's it's the end of a cycle. It's, it's a completion. Okay. Um, if you haven't seen the results, you will. And, and this also talks about that arranged marriage. I talked about a while back. This is kind of what this is again, it, but it's going to take recovery and healing because I think it has to do a lot with a past life. Okay. Um, and then to me, I break things down in numerology and it's a three. So it's all about creating something new. But in order to create, you have to be, you have to be a go-getter. You got to be social, you know? Um, and then with the 14, okay, it, it, it's dice box. So to me, that's, it's a gamble. Okay. Um, but somebody's also trying to control a situation, which is, it makes and makes the situation tricky. It also talks about um, a winning from gambling. So if you're gambling, you know, it might be a good weekend to gamble, okay? Um, if you've had a past, I don't know why that came to me. If you had a past addiction when it comes to gambling, please, please be careful. You know, maybe buy like one scratch ticket or only spend so much money at a slot machine because if it's in your blueprint, it's in your blueprint. You don't have to spend a shit ton of money. It's, it's meant to be, okay? Um, so with that being said, you know, don't go nuts, but this is a winning from gambling. It, it, it's, it's taking a risk. So some people might look at it like money, like I just talked about, but at the same time, it can be whatever it is you're going to take a leap of faith in because that that reading we just had was was majority this weekend was straight up love and normally I like to break those cards down in different ways and, and I didn't it was it was really the love okay so to me the winning from the gambling thing to me is saying take a take a leap of faith um, and then you had 24 and I, I, this, I love this one, you know, but it's, it's six. Um, oh, before I get there, this was the five when I broke it down. Okay. And the five is all about adventure and, and somebody being extremely curious. So why not go after your curiosity? You know, uh, don't let it get the best of you. You have the ability to control certain situations. So again, it, it to me, it, it, it talks about breaking down the mind. Um, and then the 24, which is a six and that's numerology is, it's health, it's home, it's abundance all the way around. It's unconditional love. It's, you know, um, 
it does represent day. So it, it talks about a beginning of a new cycle, your future. It also talks about a marriage. It talks about being intrigued or inspired by something. So I think what's stopping certain situations, because here we have a completion of a cycle. And here we have a brand new beginning of a cycle. Okay. So in the middle is the dice box. So to me, it, it talks about taking a leap of faith. You can control what's going on. But this also talks about the protection. It's assured. It's a given. Whatever this is, is protected. Okay. Um, it also talks about having like an epiphany. Uh, it, well, it's exact words is like a strike of genius. Okay. But to me, that's, that's like an epiphany. All right. So to me, when it's talking about winning from a gambling, it's, it's that leap of faith, no matter what you're gambling with. They're encouraging you to take it because it's leading you to a brand new cycle, a very fortunate new cycle. Okay. So what I want to do, and I, I know it's not necessary, but is, is break, maybe break it down in a picture form for you. Okay, I know it's not necessary to clarify a rune, but in this case, considering, you know, I'm new at using these two, and a lot of you guys, it's, it's a visionary thing for you, okay? I, I want to be able to do that, so we'll, we'll start with the first one, which is a completion of a cycle, and we'll break it We'll break it down so it's kind of going to tell us what's going on. And then we'll break down the dice box and then we'll break down the day. Okay. So, but to me, what this is saying, the harvest is already here. Take a leap of faith. It's a brand new day. Let's get together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Like, this is definitely a, a love situation. And I don't know. I, I'm. It feels very calming to me. I don't know why. It just feels peaceful to me. Okay. So. So tell me about harvest. Tell me about this completion of a cycle. I, I don't know what it wants to say. If it's going to tell me what's been completed or, you know, what type of harvest is coming your way. So let's just. Whoa. 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 So. That to me right off the bat is somebody had a tower, okay, which would make sense. You completed something. To me, congratulations, okay, but tell me about harvest, or oh, just tell me about, yeah, just tell me about number 12. <laughs> tell me about number 12. Ooh we, ooh we, you got three, and, it, and, and I was just going to say, it, it breaks down in three, okay, um, so, I don't know if that wants to be told, but that's the nine. You know, I just got three cards, three, six, nine. We talked about that nine earlier, and that's the nine of cups, okay? So, this is what we're completing. Oh, damn. There's that tower when I just said, there's that tower moment they just gave you, okay? So, and then it's, it's the four. It's the four of swords, okay? It's, someone's having a hard time pushing through. I mean, even stepping outside. Okay. Um, you're praying, you know, it's the five of pence. Um, it's, it's feeling a little lonely. It, it's having a hard time legitimately getting out of the house and, and facing whatever situation you're about to be faced with. It, it is kind of going towards the dark, but it's also a completion you know, um, here we go with those, those fours again. Okay. But your intuition is telling you the divine voice is guiding. Okay. Rest. If you need to rest, rest. Okay. But you also need to know if you've been resting too much. Okay. Um, cause that's important too. So it's the end of feeling lonely. It, it's, you know, to me with all this music, it, it's, I don't know if there's certain music that's making you lonely. And, and I know that's bizarre. 
But if somebody keeps listening to like the same songs and stuff over and over because you miss someone horribly, it, it's not helping. Because the right type of thoughts are, are not there. Okay. Um, it's just time to recover. You know, like I said, this, the harvest talks about recovering, healing, and the four of swords is healing energy, guys. Okay. It's time to heal. Whatever happens, I hope you can see those. Whatever happened, it's, it's time to heal. Go after new results. Go after new benefits, new new something, okay? Um, when the tower comes in and it crashes down, it is the end of a cycle. It's not the world card, but it is the end of a cycle. It is a completion. It is time to go out and be more social too. See them being social? It might help your healing process. The recovery process might be easier. But this is, but listen to me. This is the end of this, okay? Which is, which is fantastic. I mean, the way they just broke this down to me and to you guys is astonishing. It's beautiful. It, it, it's absolutely beautiful, okay? It truly, truly is. It's, it's amazing the way that just went down. Okay? So that, that is the end of this. Please believe me. So let's let's move on to the to the dice box. This is to me, this is that whole leap of faith. You're stopping your own new adventure. Okay. Tell me about the dice box, which is a five, which talks about that new adventure, taking that leap of faith. Okay. So I love how these are being it, you know, it is about numerology though. But I, I wanna mention like all of it because it's important. All right, so it's the Eight of Swords. It, this is you, you know, feeling feeling trapped, feeling lonely, feeling defeated. Um, but it's it's the Eight, okay? Let it's that cycle. So here's the thing: is if you don't want to take a leap of faith, you know, there's that three. You know, but it's it's reversed. All right, it's that. The heartache is you're holding on to it is what you're doing. Let it go. You're, you're going to self-sabotage this situation. Okay, the seven of swords, let it, let it go. This You're literally holding on to something. And that was in one of my V's earlier, I believe. You know, it's just it's, you're not letting go of whatever this is. And you're not taking that leap of faith. Why not take that chance? You know, you, what this is saying is you have control over this situation. It's like, it's illusionary right now. Like, I, I know the pain and what you're feeling is not illusionary, but from you're stopping yourself from going on this brand new adventure. Your thoughts. See, I told you that that's the problem. Is that somebody's thoughts is holding them back. So instead of taking a leap of faith, you're letting things get the best of you. You need to, you need to stop believing all right, you need to find hope again. You you need to stop controlling whatever you think the outcome is going to be. Um, it, it, just the thing is, is that you control this eight of swords. And it's just isn't fun. I mean, step away. Step away from whatever this is. Whatever in that previous read, that four, whatever that you're holding on to, which ended up being fear. Step away from it, okay? You're holding yourself back right now. Take that leap of faith is what they're saying. That's what's stopping you is, is fear, the, the leap of faith. You need to understand that what's happening right now in your life, it's assured protection. It's assured. Okay, so... And I said that, I said, whatever this is, I believe is what's stopping you. All right, it's your own, it's your own thoughts. They're looking right at, the, you're looking right at whatever this is holding you back. You're looking right at it. You're fearing it. So I don't know if you're fearing love, if you're fearing, 
you're fearing moving forward, letting go. You're, you're fearing being hurt. Don't, that is no way to live. It is time to take a brand new adventure. It's time. When people get stuck at the fives, you know, it's, it's hard. It, it usually is thought, okay? It truly, truly is. So, you know, 8, 9, 10, 11, you, you need, which is a path, your new path, you're at your crossroads. And when you're at your crossroads, what direction are you going to go? And it, it talks about choosing a direction, taking that leap of faith. But you need to choose, okay? If you choose this, I don't know, they might let you repeat that cycle, but that would that would be foolish because you've already completed this. You've already, but see, what you're not, what's happening is you're not stepping out of something that's already been completed because you're holding on to emotional thoughts. Let it go, okay? So tell me about day, which is a six, which is unconditional love. It's, 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 it's new beginnings of a cycle. It's something in Inspiring. So, you know, I kind of feel like the divine has already given you that ability to know what's coming, but it's you that's stopping it, okay? So tell me about day. You said day, you said day, you said day. It's the Queen of Cups. So this is, you know, just like the reading, you have this person. You know who this person is. Have that compassion. Find it again. Whether this is you or somebody else, this is a wonderful person to marry. They have all those qualities of all the queens. Okay. Um, step into this. You have a new beginning with somebody here. who apparently is very nurturing. And I don't know if that's what intimidates you, okay? Because it's almost like you know, all right? It's, it's the Two of Cups. You you know this connection. It, I'm sorry, it's the Two of Wands. We just talked about that. Go towards it. Apparently, she's an empress, too. And that, that, there's that Nine of Cups. Okay, well, apparently, I got to stress the empress. She holds the key to your heart, and I think it's intimidating, whether it's man or female. I, I think you know exactly who this is, and this person is very loving, very capable, very nurturing, very mother-like, very, um, she's, she's solid, especially if this is somebody you're going to marry. But to me, the six is un unconditional love, and, and you have that right here, and you know it, and I think it's just, it's very intimidating for you to take that next step which is a leap of faith, but you're being called to take a leap of faith here, okay? So that's what they want. They want you to take that leap of faith with this with this person. And there's that three, okay? And there's another three. So now what? Double three. So I'm telling you, this energy is amplified. And then there's another three. So three, 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 okay? Um, that three, three, three is it's a symbolize it's encouragement and it means your angels are nearby and they're ready to help you and that you are assured that the plans are going to go very well it's a sent message that your prayers have been answered and seeing three means whatever you requested is on its way for you or you need to go towards it so like i said it's it's already here it's already assured and i told you that this is something that's assured protection whatever this union is it's a shirt. I mean, you can't get better than that. The Queen of Cups with the Empress, it, it's solid, okay? Um, so you're letting, you're letting your fears get the best of this situation. 333, three, three, which is that nine, okay? This is gone. This is the completion of a cycle. And there's another three, so there's four threes. I think that happened the other day in one of the reads. Let it go. It's a completion. Your fears are holding you back. But this is an assured happiness. They're giving you the Ten of Cups. We've discussed this. You have to take the leap of faith. Love is your new cycle. So 
it's bizarre because I, I love to incorporate a lot of things, but in, in this particular case, love is a success for you because it is something you might back away from. It It's something, okay? But it, it's a time in your life where love in the situation comes first and you must not be seeing it. Oh, you're not having it. It's something. But you know who this person is. I mean, it's just one of those scenarios. It's a given. Okay. So my best advice I can give you is, is take this leap of faith. Take the leap of faith. Um, and again, that song, let's get together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So to me, what that's saying is this other person or is this mama? Because I was just looking when I sang that. Like, she's she's ready. So it's just a matter of this other energy stepping forward. Fearlessly. Gotta take a leap of faith. To see certain things come true. This is it's like a... It's so cliche, but it's like a dream will come true in three years, four years, you know... Six months, you're going to understand what this is all about. And it might feel complicated right now, and I'm sure it is. Because I'm feeling the need to express it. It's probably the situation, but push through this because it's time for a new cycle in your life. And whatever it is, is geared towards marriage you know, abundance all the way around. This person inspires you, but you're still fearing it. An easy way to get over that fear is taking a leap of faith and, and going towards that fear, releasing it, expressing. It's pretty important that they're stressing it like this, okay? It must be a pretty important weekend for some of you guys. So I really hope that um, some of you take that leap of faith because it is time. You know, it, it's going to start affecting you differently in different aspects of your life if you don't start taking leaps of faith and, and step into the light that you're being asked to step into. Um, see something. I'm seeing some type of like artifact. Like an ancient um, artifact. It reminds me of like um, I'm seeing a fish. Okay. Um, straight up just saw a fish. So uh, you know what it kind of reminded me of what I what I first saw first was like the the stabbing device that you would put at the end of a stick that they would wrap like twine around it or something like they, they would make their own knives like that stone that's what I saw and now I'm seeing a fish to me that could talk about well I'm not quite sure but that's what I just saw um spiritual meaning of a fish? According to the astrology web, a fish symbolizes fertility, healing, creativity, rebirth, good luck, transformation, health, abundance, serenity, intelligence, happiness, strength, and endurance. Connecting us with the water element, it represents the deeper awareness of the unconsciousness or higher self. Okay. It, it makes sense because I was feeling, I was feeling the harvest when I saw the fish. And that's, that is harvest. That's, that's freaking ironic that that just happened. I'm, I'm clear as day I'm looking at this fish. Because what's happening is this the light is going through the room. And I, can, I see this fish clear as day. I see the one eye is staring right at me. Okay. Um, but the threes talk about something new. It's creativity. It's, it's rebirth. It's like I said, it's the end of the cycle. It is a rebirth. It is time you have somebody 
you know, it's the water element too. You have that. It represents a deeper awareness. Your higher self knows, but you're not stepping into it. All right, it's time to use your intuition. We got a little lack of faith, okay? Faith will guide you. Look at something positive, which gives hope. And, and when you find hope again, it, it leads to faith. And when you have that, it's easier to move forward and take chances, okay? You're, you're smart. You know. You know, your happiness lies around the corner. It's, it's your strength. It's the endurance. And you pull through this because you have something here that's a very meant-to-be situation. These energies are very adaptable. Okay. And it's the fertility. I mean, she's she's fertile. The Empress represents fertility, rebirth, new life, children. You know, it's it's whatever this is, is is it's gorgeous, guys. This fish is just staring at me. It's still so that that to me it's yeah that resting that you're doing is healing, but you it's it's too still this this fish is going going to drown honestly fish need to move to to breathe can we not kill the fish how about you not kill your own dreams all right i don't know why that just bothered me but this fish is about to die you're dying inside take a leap of faith and go towards something that you know has potential. Don't let this fear get the best of you. Please. This poor fish. I I'm getting upset. I love you guys. This fish needs to swim. I'm not playing with you. Don't kill this fish. You're killing your own dreams. Be so foolish. Please take that leap of faith. Holy cow. I love you guys. Bye.